What's up, y'all? Tired. But I hope you had a good day. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A disclaimer. It's gonna be some people in here that's gonna be mad at me, but um, I stand on truth. I don't hold my tongue for anybody, and I say what needs to be said, regardless how anybody feels. You know, so just know people are gonna get mad at this, but it needs to be said. So I'm seeing where there's folks out here that are saying that we need to save America. America is in danger, you know, we're in trouble. We need to save America. And I'm seeing people are talking about we need to get Donald Trump in the office, you know, for 2024. I even seen one TikTok creator even say that he he believes that Donald Trump is the right hand of God. Which I think when I heard that shit, I was like, I was mind blown to hear something so crazy. Like a lot of people is falling for this nonsense. And the thing that bothers me the most is that there's a lot of people who are believers who really believe like Donald Trump is going to save the world. You know, we need him in office. We need to see him save America. Well, check this out. I'm going to be a thousand percent honest with you. I do not want America to be saved. To be real, I want America to burn to the ground. And let me tell you why. I know some people are going to look at me like, Corey, what you mean? Let me tell you what I mean. Let me tell you something, man. Yeah, America is the land of opportunity and supposed to be the land of the free, you know, somewhat now. And I'm being sarcastic, you know, and there's a lot of things you can do in America. But let's just be real, bro. This country was built on blood, you know. Um, yeah, you know, we paint America as great, but this country was built on blood. It's a lot of bad history behind this shit, you know, and some of our people are still oppressed to this day. We some can't get opportunities, you know. Um, the people that's supposed to be governing us, you know, supplying drugs and all this crazy stuff in our community. It's a lot of blood on this land. And America is Babylon. And what's going on is being prophesied in the Bible. Y'all yeah, can sit here and say all you want that uh, we need to save America. It's not going to happen. I'm here to tell you that this America is going to fall. There's nothing we can do about it because this is prophesied in the Bible. America is Babylon. All right? It needs to happen. I have no desire, nor do I care for America to be safe. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of people, but the fact of you are putting your faith into a man really says a lot and it's like how come you're not putting all your faith in god and how are you gonna fix your face to say that god that trump is the right hand of god like that that comment was so wild to me you need to wake up and smell the coffee we're in the end times bro all this shit is about to come crashing down god is not happy with all of us he ain't happy with us at all Everything that's going on in America and the world, viruses spreading, you know, we're on the brink of World War Three, an economic collapse, all this shit, all of this is supposed to happen. People here need to wake up like we can talk and talk and talk and protest and do whatever we can. It's not going to stop God. You, you're never, you're never going to stop God's plan. Truth be told, God's return, I'm looking forward to it. I'm tired of this place. You know what I'm saying? Sadness, sorrow, people dying left and right, our kids getting S.A., you know, people being poor. Like, I'm just, I'm tired, bro. I'm ready to be with my creator, be in paradise, you know, be at peace. I don't have to worry about it anymore because that's going to be the reward. For those that stand tall to the end and repents and believes. 
That's what, that's what we all should be waiting for.